Hi, this video will present to you the proof of a subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic. This is a very classical proof and it involves some properties of number. To start with, let G be a cyclic group. What does it mean? It means that G has a generator. A generator, let's call this generator A. This means that every element of G is a power of A. In our notation, it means we write G bracket A, which means that G consists of A power N, where N consists of all integer. Now let H be a subgroup of G. If H is a trivial subgroup, then obviously H is cyclic. The generator is E. But this is not very interesting. If H is not the set containing E alone, then I must be able to find some n positive integer such that a power n belongs to H. Now we let m be the smallest positive integer such that a power m belongs to H. This is a very crucial step because we make use of this in our conclusion later on. Now the claim is, with this M chosen, H is actually a cyclic group, where the generator is A power M. Then how do we prove this claim? We must show that if B is an element in H, then B must be a power of a power m. That means b is equal to a power m then power q for some positive integer q. Now to do this, to do this, we must make an observation for number theory. It says that if m is a positive integer and n is any integer, then there is unique integer q and r such that n equal to m times q plus r, where r is a number greater than or equal to 0 and less than m. This is also called division algorithm for integer. Now how do we make sense of this? For example, if m equal to 4 and n is integer 35, then if we divide 35 by 4, then we will know that 35 is equal to 4 times 8 with remainder 3, where we usually call this r as the remainder and q we usually call them the quotient. Now notice that the remainder is always less than m. So r is equal to 3 here, which is less than 4, greater than or equal to 0. So let's go back to our claim. You want to show that b is equal to a power m, then with the power q again, for some positive integer q. Now how do we show that now? Since b is in h, so b is also in g. Therefore, b is equal to a power n for some integer n. Now, apply the division algorithm. Now, apply the division algorithm. We know that we can divide m by m. Then there will be a quotient q plus r where r is an integer less than m greater than or equal to 0, which means 
B is equal to A power N, which is equal to A power M cubed plus R. Now split the right hand side, get B equal to A power M, then raise the power Q times A power R. Where R is an integer greater than or equal to zero, less than M. I multiply both sides on the left, above, on the left, by inverse of a power m with the power q. Then we find that a power r is equal to this expression now. And since a power r equal to this expression, and we know that the first term is in H, since the inverse of a power m raised to power q is in H, and b also in H, as H is a subgroup. Therefore, by the closure of H, we know that a power r is also in H. Now, if r not equal to zero, this will lead to a contradiction. Since m is the smallest positive integer, such that a power m belongs to h, and now I have a power r belongs to h, where r less than m. Since when r not equal to 0, this leads to a contradiction. Therefore, we must have r equal to 0. So if r equal to 0, then b equal to a power n equal to a power m raised to power q times a power r, where r equal to 0, which means b equal to a power m with the power q. That means that every element b in h is the power of a power m. So h is the cyclic group generated by a power m. Therefore, h is cyclic. So we have our conclusion. A subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic. That finished the proof.